Russian Deputy Prime Minister Vitaly Savelyev, during his visit to Kazan, announced that the airline S-7 is ready to purchase up to 100 modernized 2214 passenger aircraft. There are also other customers. The airline S-7 is ready to acquire up to 100 modernized Tupolev passenger aircraft. Tatar Inform News Agency reported this, citing Russian Deputy Prime Minister Vitaly Savelyev. He visited the Kazan aviation plant in Tatarstan's capital. He expressed confidence that the aircraft would be in demand among many air carriers. Today we visited the aircraft manufacturing facility that produces the Tu-214. This is an aircraft that will be in demand. There are already customers for it. S7 has declared that it is ready to order up to 100 units. And today we discussed this very topic with the plant, said the Deputy Prime Minister. Last year, the airline S-7 signed a Memorandum of Cooperation with the United Aircraft Corporation to expand the carrier's fleet. The agreement involved the purchase of 100 upgraded Tu-214 aircraft. S-7's preference for the Tupolev model likely reflects a short-to-medium-term strategic alignment with Russia's industrial and political priorities, availability advantages, and the need to avoid reliance on foreign technology. It doesn't rule out future MC-21 purchases, rather, it shows S-7 is hedging its fleet plans for current realities. Several nuanced financial and strategic factors support S-7 Airlines' decision to operate the Tupolev, despite common criticisms regarding its operational costs. People frequently criticize the aircraft for its higher fuel consumption and maintenance costs compared to modern Western aircraft. However, Recent industry discussions suggest that adjusting the aircraft's usage can effectively mitigate these challenges. The Tupolev's superior passenger capacity, particularly when configured in an all-economy configuration, is a significant advantage. The Tu-214 has the capacity to carry approximately 12 more passengers than the Airbus A321, an established Western narrow-body competitor. The Tu-214 has the capacity to accommodate approximately 210 passengers, which is a substantial revenue uplink on high-demand domestic flights, in contrast to the Airbus A321, which typically accommodates approximately 185 to 220 passengers, depending on the variant and configuration. This increased seating capacity has the potential to mitigate the additional operational costs incurred by the aircraft's older engines and systems, generating approximately $12,000 more in daily revenue on busy routes. The capital cost advantage of the Tu-214 is another critical factor to consider. It is three to four times less expensive than new Airbus or Boeing narrow-body jets, with an estimated cost of $25 to $30 million per aircraft. This decreased acquisition cost leads to a substantially lower amortization per seat, which in turn alleviates the financial burden on airlines such as S7. The Tu-214 is a cost-effective alternative for expanding or renewing fleets without incurring the heavy upfront expenses that are characteristic of Western aircraft, given the current sanctions that restrict Russia's access to Western leasing markets and new aircraft deliveries. Historical operational data also reinforces the aircraft's viability. For instance, Transaero Airlines, a Russian carrier, reportedly generated more than $70,000 in monthly profit by operating two 214s on long domestic routes, despite their fuel inefficiency. The Tu-214 has an important advantage because it uses only local parts and maintenance, which helps avoid the costs, risks, and delays that come with using foreign components, especially given the current political situation. This all-Russian logistics support ensures increased operational reliability and cost stability, unlike foreign aircraft that rely on complex international supply chains. The Tupolev model may not be as advanced in terms of avionics or sheer fuel efficiency as newer Western models, but its strategic advantages include the ability to service airports with infrastructure that is compatible with its design, extensive domestic support infrastructure, and fleet independence. 
S7's decision to integrate the TU-214 is part of a broader government-sponsored initiative to re-energize Russia's aerospace industry and attain greater aviation sovereignty. It is also consistent with S7's fleet renewal strategy, which is designed to decrease dependence on Western aircraft and promote local industry. In summary, the TU-214's higher operational costs in fuel and maintenance are mitigated by its superior passenger capacity, significantly lower acquisition cost, comprehensive domestic supply chain, and strategic value for Russian airlines operating in a sanctions-constrained environment. The TU-214 is a financially and operationally viable asset for S7 airlines that transcends the status of a transient workaround due to the combination of these factors. This integrated perspective emphasizes the economic trade-offs and strategic imperatives that justify S7's interest in the TU-214, despite the perceived operational cost disadvantage, and complements the previous explanation. Therefore, the TU-214's comprehensive value proposition encompasses not only cost metrics, but also revenue potential, supply chain security, and alignment with national industrial policy, thereby providing a multifaceted justification for its acquisition and operation. The United Aircraft Corporation's Kazan Aviation Plant manufactures the TU-214 aircraft. In late February 2025, during a board meeting of the Ministry of Industry and Trade of Tatarstan, it was reported that the aviation plant had signed contracts for the production of 23 TU-214 aircraft. On February 21st, Yuri Slyusar, General Director of the United Aircraft Corporation, announced that by 2030, it is planned to build 115 TU-214 aircraft, allocating 92 billion rubles for that purpose over the next two years. He stated that the Kazan Aviation Plant will initially produce 10 passenger aircraft annually, which it will later increase to 20. In early February, Russian Minister of Industry and Trade Anton Alikhanov stated that the first deliveries of two Tu-14 aircraft to Russian airlines are scheduled for this year. The delivery of airliners to carriers will align with the approved plans. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take out channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.